Well, a major cell phone company is apologizing over problems with its billing. U.S. Cellular launched a new billing system in July, and the impact to numerous people has been to see bills double or triple from what they're supposed to be. Adam Schrager is here now with more in this week's Call for Action segment. Boy, a lot of people are talking about this. Can you imagine getting a double or triple bill? <laughs> it's yeah, been, no wonder they're calling for action. Yeah, one is bad enough. Yeah, I know. So the volunteers have been working on a number of complaints over the last couple of months. They had been handling the cases individually, but we received about a half a dozen new complaints over the last couple of weeks alone as it related to U.S. Cellular. Kathy and Shauna and Madison each are being overcharged. Alicia and Nuglaris was triple billed, and Rebecca and Livingston got multiple bills back to back. So we reached out to U.S. Cellular for a comment, and the company is both acknowledging and apologizing for the problems. A spokesperson wrote us an email stating, quote, even one bad customer experience is too many. We apologize to each of our customers who have been affected by these issues. This is not acceptable. It's an imperative we get things fixed. And it is important to note the call for action volunteers are still working with these people to solve the individual cases, but we wanted to let people know about mm -hmm. the problem overall. Well, and that's refreshing too, to, yeah. for them to admit it's a problem and, and they're working on it. That's yep. good to hear. Right. So people logging onto the website will see a new feature this week called the Spam Report. <laughs> now, yes. what is that about? Maybe it's my quirky sense of humor. I don't know. <laughs> but we all tend to get these emails that we call junk or spam, and most of us usually just hit the delete button and then move on. The reason, though, that we continually find them in our inboxes is because there are people who bite, if you will, who fall for what the sender is promising. So with that in mind, we've launched the Spam Report, where every day for the next year on Channel3000.com, we're going to feature an email that is pure spam and thus pure scam. If you have a scam email you want to share, send it to me at aschrager at wisctv.com. It just might make a future spam report. Today's features a doozy from a viewer named Lyle in Mount Horeb. Well, Lyle got an email from someone he'd never met saying that someone with his last name died in the <gasps> Republic of Gambia. And since there was no next of kin, this is really believable, don't you guys think? <laughs> he could claim his $3 million estate and share it. It would be, quote, a big blessing from God to us and our families. The you, name, you share a name with a dead guy and thus can make millions of dollars in that email. <laughs> Never, ever yeah. true. I, I, Sorry. Really? Never true. Another I apologize. Busted. All but right. Some, the of them, some of them look ridiculous and some of them look really credible. I got one today yeah. that I'll forward you. Maybe it'll make the next spam report. We're hoping to break those. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we know you like to share success stories from the Call from Action Center. Yeah. You got one today. We do. It's the story of Heidi Justice and her four-year-old daughter, Molly, who she adopted from South Korea a few years ago. Well, when she was filling out her taxes with TurboTax, she mistakenly entered the wrong information for the adoption tax credit that she was due. Long story short, she ended up getting a late bill from the state of Wisconsin saying she owed back taxes. Apparently, this has happened to at least a dozen other families in Wisconsin. TurboTax has a 100% guarantee, but they weren't helping, so Heidi called for action. Well, the volunteers got her in touch with the vice president of the company, and it did offer to pay most of the interest on her back taxes. It's not an ideal situation. that She didn't get all of her money back, but as Heidi told me this afternoon, ideal is the grin that you see there and mm. the realization that her daughter is healthy and happy. Oh, that's Very a nice. beautiful if you picture. Have, isn't it a great picture? Yeah. Beautiful. If you have any consumer problems you want us to help solve, you can do what Heidi did and call for action anytime by going to our website, channel3000.com slash call for action, or you can actually call 608-270-2833. The volunteers are here answering the hotline from 11 to 1 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Good work as always. Thanks, Adam. Thank Thanks you. A lot, Adam.